a, a new lamp should be proper, uh, should be very near proper focus, so you shouldn't have to open up the uh, spacer tube, tube cover plate to look at the focus on the lamp. However, uh, however every lamp, arc lamp is slightly different, and you may want to check the fo uh, focus of the lamp. Uh, good way to do it is to maximize the signal on your monitor by looking at some fluorescent signal. Another way to do it is remove the lid of the uh, monochromer of the monochromer or delta round five, as the case may be. The light path here. This is an elliptical reflector, so one focus is at the arc is at the arc of uh, the arc lamp, and the other focus is at the slit housing at the uh, micrometer slit here. The lamp uh, focuses on here and then diverges through here and fills the entrance focusing mirror here. Is and that is focused to a collimated beam that forms a col collimated beam over to the grating here, and then the colors are dispersed and each dispersed color is collimated over to the exit focusing mirror, and then each color is focused down to a narrow line at the exit micrometer slit. Reflects off this um, mirror as well to get to the exit uh, micrometer slit. If you want a straight through path, you can remove this mirror, and this is the same distance. Make sure that the uh, uh, micro micrometer slit here is open by turning it counterclockwise. And turn it counterclockwise two and a half full turns to get it fully open or more. A new a new lamp may be uh, out of focus, uh, seen by this. And what you're looking for is a nice donut shape. The outside of the donut, the bright donut, should uh, occupy about 80 to 90 percent of the width of this uh, entrance focusing mirror. The inside shadow of the donut should occupy about the center 20 percent of this inside focusing mirror. There are these three thumb screws here. It says lamp of dust connected by the white triangle. What you want to do is just uh, adjust one thumb screw, then go on to the next uh, lamp adjustment screw and adjust that slightly. And then the, on to the third lamp adjustment screw and just that. Then back on to the first one. And initially the lamp uh, may be out of focus, it won't show a good donut hole. Uh, what you want to do is just adjust the thumb screws a uh, little bit and even a small amount of uh, adjustment can there. Okay, there you can start to see the donut hole. Now all we want to do is just make it sure it's centered and well, uh, well defined. Uh, the light output here on this uh, white surface goes uh, through the whole spectrum as I turn the counter dial on the monochromator from violet at 400 to blue, starting to be bluish at uh, 430 through 470, starting to get a green tinge at around 470, very green at 500 and getting to be yellow at 5.30, yellowish green. Uh, very yellow at uh, 5.60, orange at 5.80, very orange at 5.90, starting to get a red tinge at 600, and very red uh, above 600, and starts to disappear uh, at uh, 650, 660 nanometers due to the uh, response of the eye. And that is the range. The counter dial on the monochromator can actually go from 0 to 1000 uh, for ultraviolet uh, spect uh, excitation spectra and infrared as well.